book of the tales of Canterbury. One that April with a shower suit, the drought of March hath pierced the root, and bathed their vein and switch liqueur of which bitter engendered is the floor. When Zephyrus eke his sweet brief, inspired hath in every halt and heath, tender crops and young son hath in the ram have boars long. And smell fowls making melody that spleen all the night with open ye. So pricketh hem nature in her courages, then long and fork to goon on pilgrim and grotches. And palmiers to seek in strange strides, to fern halves knoweth in sundry lawns, and specially from every shower's end of England to Canterbury they went. The holy blissful martyr to seek that hem hath opened when they're where they seek, be filling that season on a day and self work as the tabard I lay, ready to wend on my pilgrimage to Canterbury with build about carage. And night was come into that holstery, well, nine and twenty, companion, on sundry folk by adventure you fall, in fellowship and pilgrims were they all. And toward Canterbury wold and ride, with chambers and stables were in wide, and well we are in Aristas best, and shortly when the sun was to rest. So had I spoken with him ever chong, and that I was their fellowship anon, and made forward early for to rise, to take our way, there as thou I devise. But natheless will I have time and space, ere that I further in this tale pace. Me thinketh that accordion to reason to tell y'all of the Candasian, Avec him, so it seemed me, and which they were in, and what degree, and eke in what array they were in, and at a night, when while I first begin. <laughs> 